we've got four sharks. We've got the great white, we've got the Marco, we've got the Thresher, and we've got the bronze whaler. And they're specimen model sharks, um, more specimen models, which um, but at the, at the more demanding end of model making, uh, if you're making models for films, you know, there's a lot of fantasy. It has to be very accurate and true too, but these have to be scientifically true to type. All of the reference is mainly um, pictures of, of the sharks, um, but some of it we get um, dimensions and measurements, and that's a big part of it as well. Oh, it was a great way how they came up with the uh, um, sculpts by making a, a smaller maquette and then getting it scanned and getting sections CNC'd on the 3D router. It's a great way to get a, um, a larger scale shark from a small scale sculpt. Quite quick and quite precise. You can see that that was straight in the maquette stage and you can see the swimming pose that's being put into it now. From the plaster moulds, we will take fibreglass um, mouldings out of them and uh, join them all together. Uh, this is pretty much the last stage since it's been so beautifully sculpted. It's just a matter of um, cutting up the seam line and uh, giving it a paint job. That, that's what I really like about making sharks and marine models is that it's an educational process where you can't go to a zoo, I mean you can go to a, an aquarium but um, when we can't all go diving and we wouldn't all go diving around sharks so this is a really good way to bring sharks to, to people.